Now, in this, uh, we'll learn another technique of solving the Thevenin's theorem. Uh, in this question, we need to find the current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor. So, this is our load resistor. Now, in the technique that we have learned so far, we used to separate the load resistance and then solve for V Thevenin and R Thevenin. But uh, in this technique, which is called divide and conquer technique, we don't have to really separate the uh, only the load resistance, but we can separate a major part of the circuit considering it to be a load. That means instead of separating 4 ohm resistance, we separate this whole part. We separate this whole part and the remaining part we solve for V Thevenin and R Thevenin. Okay, <coughs> so once we have separated a major part uh, from the circuit, we are left with a simple part and here we can very easily calculate V Thevenin 1. Now, if you look this circuit carefully, there is no current flowing through 6 ohm resistor. So, whatever is the voltage here, same voltage across 2 ohms and the same voltage is V Thevenin and 1. So, we can directly write that V Thevenin and 1 is 28 volt. Now, we also need to calculate the Thevenin resistance at this point and we know that to, cal uh, to calculate Thevenin resistance, we have to shorten this voltage source. So, if we shorten the voltage source, this becomes the circuit and this short circuit will also shorten the 2 ohm resistance. So, the net circuit will just become with 6 ohm resistance, these two gone. So, 6 ohm resistance is the R Thevenin 1. So, the first half uh, converts into V Thevenin 128 volt and R Thevenin 1 6 ohm. So, this circuit has been converted into Thevenin circuit. Now, we can connect the remaining circuit. So, now we can connect the two circuits to proceed further. This is our total circuit now. Again, we can separate a part of the circuit. So, let us see. We separated this part from here and again we solve for Thevenin voltage at this point and Thevenin resistance at this point. Now, you can see that these two resistances are in series, so we can find the Thevenin voltage by VDR. So, V Thevenin 2 we call this, V Thevenin 2 will be 28 volt divided by 6 plus 8 multiplied by 8, so that will give 16 volt. Similarly, when we shorten this, 6 and 8 ohm resistance will come in parallel and R Thevenin 2 will be 3.43 by solving 6 and 8 in parallel. Now, we connect back the two resistances and by simple VDR we can find the voltage across this or by uh, uh, the Ohm's law we can find the current through 4 Ohm resistance. So, we will use Ohm's law. So, total voltage divided by total resistance is the current which is 0 0.9 ampere. So, this was a uh, divide and conquer technique. This may look difficult, but actually if you start solving problem, this is much easier than any in the previous technique. Okay, so here is a test for you. You have to find the output voltage uh, by divide and conquer rule of the Thevenin's theorem. So, try it. Your answer should be a simplified circuit. So, converting all this by parts, you should be able to get the circuit and then by connecting 8 kilo with that and by solving by the simple KVL method, you can find the voltage V naught.